What's going on, Andrew? This is Daniel from Josh and Danny SEO. We spoke a little bit earlier. Now, you did say that it's a very small chance that anything comes out from this, but here's my seven minutes to convince you that maybe, you know, maybe I got something. So here we go. Uh, so right over here, you have your location, which is good. Typically, if you have more than one location that you offer, maybe post it or have a drop down menu of it, your services are not a drop down menu. You definitely always want that. Again, it's all about ease of access for a client. You want them to come on here and find everything very quickly, even if they, I mean, and yes, they can scroll down and see exactly what it is that's there. However, we don't want them to do that. Plus, I see all of these go to the same page. You definitely want them to have a page of their own, and that's just for uh, keyword purposes, which I will explain in a moment. It's also for content purposes. Gallery, reviews, contact, nothing wrong with that. That's all good. Request an estimate, email us. Okay, phone number, good. Is a click call, very proud of you for that. Okay, so renovations, kitchens, bathroom additions, perfect. You have a little bit of a, you know, one sentence on each one, which is fine. Uh, you would want them to go to their own separate pages, which is why you would want to have services or drop down menu, not as one page, probably affiliated with good. All your accolades, get them on here. Facebook, and then we're done. Okay, so um, as far as uh, front pages go or like home pages go, you got, I would say, give you about three out of 10. Uh, I know that sounds harsh and you're probably gonna pause the video and get rid of it after this one, but hear me out. You definitely want content on your pages. People want to see content. They want to read what it is you offer or just get straight to the phone number, which is, you know, hopefully the best possible outcome. But you definitely want to also give them a chance to send you a text message or an email message. I know you can say email us, but people don't like that. And how did, okay, they have to hover over the us, not the email. Okay, good. And your email is down there, mail too. However, you want to do it easier than that. You want to have that little form submit on every page where somebody can put in their name, phone number, email, zip code, because people don't like putting in their addresses, and then, you know, what service they're looking at. And then finally, also, you know, like any additional stuff that they might want to say. But let me uh, let me take you to the back end of, you know, what your website looks like. This is what we, uh, you, I use a tool called Ahrefs. It lets me see how Google kind of views you. Um, and it looks like you have a very, uh, you know, uh, we'll go a very uh, organic starter website. Your UR is nine, that's how strong your website is. DR is 0.2, that's how much Google trusts you, and it all runs on backlinks. Now, backlink is where you have your website link somewhere else where somebody can click on it, and a referring domain is uh, when it comes back to you um, uniquely. So it's not coming from the same website five times. It's just coming that these are the amount of websites you have that you connect to that it's it's coming back to you, but only from, uh, it, it only counts as one singular source. Anyway. I know that sounded a lot, but I'll explain that another time. Um, finally, you have organic keywords. Now, keywords are very important because it's like a match game, right? If somebody types something in Google, Google's going to find who else, uh, somebody out there who they can connect them with. Right now, if you don't have any keywords, Google's not going to connect you with anybody. So you have a website up here that people are going to only find you after you've already connected with them, um, which may be because I don't know why they know you or their referral. So keywords are very important. Let me show you an example of that, right? We're going to do kitchen remodel, Greenville, South Carolina. Now, I would have done uh, Fountain Hill, but there's not a lot. I wasn't able to make my point with Fountain Hill because it's small. Um, so because of that, I went with Greenville. So uh, kitchen remodel is what we would call a service keyword, and Greenville, South Carolina is location. Now, when you combine service and location together, you get something called a buyer intentional keyword. When I get very focused on what I'm searching for, I put in everything that can factor everything else out, which means I know somebody who types this in is looking for somebody in Greenville, South Carolina to do a kitchen remodel for them. They're ready to buy. They're not going to be a tire kicker versus somebody who said, how should I paint my kitchen? You know, they're a tire kicker because they just want information. But these people are already done with that. All right. Over here, we have our GMB, Google Business Profile. Now, very important to be in the top three. If you have multiple locations that you offer, have one for each one. Uh, definitely be in the top three again because 30 to 40% of all people searching for anything will click on one of these three guys. So start building your, uh, whatever this is called, your reviews and make sure you're replying to them. That is another thing that's very important. After that, we have our organic search. Now, Greenville doesn't seem to be that big either because you have companies in here that aren't located directly in Greenville. That's a back page for Greenville. That's not their home page. Same thing for here. See, and even this guy, it's like, oh, because that's better business. Never mind, ignore him. This one, Build Masters, right? You have Kitchen Remodeling South Carolina, but this is not their home page. You're getting a back page for Kitchen Remodeling South Carolina. So uh, let's just go back up. See, no one here seems to be doing directly in this area. Not the top people. Let's do Dream maker bath and kitchen let me show you what they're doing to stay on the top now this is their home page but i mean this is not their home page my apologies this is a back page 
because again, you can see on the top of your dreammaker remodelcom forward slash Greenville. So this is what <clears throat> they're showing Greenville people. Uh, start a conversation if you want. So uh, let's just go about this. About services, drop them and you see that? Each one of these is a separate page for each one uh, and therefore they can utilize as much as they can for uh, content and keywords. Uh, multiple ways for uh, you to start a conversation with them. Uh, their phone number is a click, not a click to call. Okay, never mind. They lose 10 points for that because that was really stupid of them. Accessibility, interior modeling, kitchen modeling, all that stuff. Our team, uh, Michael Pittman, owner. Uh, I think this is reviews. Overall, I mean, the website's fine. I'm going to give it, you know, solid 6 out of 10 because it, it does seem a little messy. Almost like they have a lot of information and it's not structured correctly on here, but that's fine. But uh, this is a form submit. Typically, I would have this at the top of the page. First name, last name, email address, phone number, zip code, and then what it is you want. I'm not a robot. Start a conversation. So it's very important to have those because you want to give everyone, because some people have social anxiety and they don't want to call you. So you want to give them every opportunity to call you. So now let's look at the back end of them. And again, I'm only looking at the back page for Greenville and all, and I'm not even looking at the front page. As you can see, that's why this is prefix and yours is domain. If yours pops up again, because, you know, my computer so see domain. So let's take a look and see what this is. So on their back page, they have 100, 1,910 backlinks and 585 referring domains. So they're really put a lot of time and effort into this. Now, uh, the UR and DR rating for this is for their entire website. UR is 22, DR is 40. That's really damn good. Um, and then they, for this back page for Greenville, they have 296 different keywords uh, with 138 people a month searching uh those keywords and coming to the website but let me show you what those keywords are for reference um if it loads so we're gonna look at a couple things keyword volume we're gonna look at traffic and we're look we're gonna look at the position they're in and obviously that's gonna make the biggest difference so we have bathroom remodel greenville south carolina 150 people a month search for that they get 50 traffic of there every single month because they're in position one by the way the difference was between positions three and one was 30 people when you're in positions one, two, or three, you'll get anywhere from 15 to 30% of all people. As you can see, this is about 33%. Um, let's take this one. Bathroom remodel, Greenville, South Carolina. 100 people a month search for that. They're getting 15 of them because they're in position number three. So that is, I don't know, a little more than 10%. So they lost this one. No, this one they have. Sorry, they lost this one. But I wouldn't even care about that one because it's not a location. So who cares about losing it? That's why the volume is so high because it's everywhere in the United States that somebody can search for that. Kitchen model Greenville, 80 people, they got 12, they're in position three. That's more than 10%. That's about 15%. Greenville remodel, uh, sorry, kitchen model Greenville, South Carolina, 60, they're getting nine, 33. That's 15%. Bathroom with shower only, no one cares about this because it doesn't matter. I wouldn't want to rank for that or with that. But the ones that they're getting the best volume from are definitely, you know, a service and a location. So how does this really help you out, Andrew? Uh, if you've gotten this far, you know, good for you. If you haven't, eh, okay, I'll take that. But what you would want to do is you want to expand your website to include service pages, location pages, so that you can capitalize on all of that, right? Keywords are very powerful because then if you have the keywords, you can get the traffic. Imagine if you can pull in 50 people, uh, sorry, 50 people a month, you know, extra just by having the right content and the right keywords. Now, once you have the content and the keywords in place, you're going to want to talk about your backlink profile. Now, you're going to want to obviously make it better. Good news is I know somebody who's making it work, these guys. So we can do a copycat method, find out exactly what they're using, use it for yourself, and then add an additional like two or 300 on top of that just to make sure you stay on top. Because again, it's very competitive here. But anyway, that's all I got. If you have any questions for me, Andrew, please let me know. Other than that, you have an amazing day. Bye.